I wonder if skyscrapers were built for sinners trying to bridge the gap between the heavens and earth. The slave ships never left. They're prettier this time round. We've built mansions with our bare hands and went home to shacks. The stars glimmer on the hip of the sky like a chrome pipe after a fresh murder. The city is an open wound. The townships are an open tomb, a bloodbath after birth. You are slave because you are black. You are black because you are slave. For centuries, white men have turned the wombs of black women into graves. It is the massacre of our existence. You do not matter. They will slaughter your names, their tongues and acts are cutting you in pieces. Rest in peace follows you around like a haunting ghost. Or maybe not, because you have become the ghost. I can imagine it hit your spirit like a stone, paralyzed your insides, your breath on clashes, the muscles of your heart stumbling to keep everything in place, and those tears. And those tears that rolled down your face uncontrollably served as a reminder that your soul and body are still one. One, they were on the floor. One, their ebony folded face, the lines on their skin dancing viciously like the Holy Bible in the hands of the poor. One, we helped them pack and were told not to cry because clouds that clouds would follow them. One, they were gone, gone to be swallowed by the greedy tummy of the earth, laboring for what could have otherwise become theirs. One, neocolonialism happened, capitalism happened, anti-blackness happened, and slavery kissed them in the cheeks and shot their back when they turned. One, they were on the floor, dead. One, their lives were reduced to a hashtag on Twitter. One, they left their home to get money. Instead, they came back as corpses, leaving their loved ones in depth. One, she's gone to the same mind that killed him and she might not make it alive. Like him, one, your life does not matter. Gun. Clack. Bullet. Shot. Black. Body. Drop. Nothing, nothing to, to see. see. Roads must fall. Um, when we said roads must fall, we didn't mean the statue itself must fall, but also his dealing and where he was involved in his legals it must also fall. Through our research and, and investigation, we have seen the complicity of uh, management in being involved in, in the mining industry in particular, which in itself is a culture and a history which comes out from Rhodes himself. Uh, we have seen that the institution and its powers skip beyond to what we understand as the role of the institution, uh, but speaks to how the institution is complacent and uh, partners in crime. And this, which was, this was revealed by you know, the, the information which is on public access on UCT's involvement with mining industries. Uh, example would be you know, the London mine. Um, after this, we, we, we have begun to think about what does it mean you know, to be in an institution like UCT, which in itself presents the commodification of education, um, that we are claimed to be masters or gatekeepers of white monopoly interest. And, and that, that leads to how even the institution operates in a way that safeguards the, the status quo that is in, in our society today. So then with that being said, um, we, are, we want to call out the university on its involvement in, 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 in London uh, minds to say that the UCT itself has got blood on their heads uh, with our, uh, our brothers uh, who have died in Marikana because of the results of this investment and and also how the capitalist nature operates. The people who sit in these councils, who sit in this uh, big position, are also involved in being gatekeepers of white monopoly capital. E.g. would be Falam, who sits in council and also was a chair of a uh, Marikana Commission. And that begs a, a very big question in terms of the contradictions of what does it mean for someone who represents justice but sits on an institution as investment in that particular mind. Um, so therefore we are demanding from the institution itself, one, to, to rename 
Jameson to Margana Hall in honor of the people who have died and in honor of the role that UCT has played in perpetuating uh, uh, and safeguarding the capitalist interest. Two, we want uh, the university to remove Falam as part of the member of council because we believe that Falam is a living contradiction in this country and as well. Three, we want the university to write a statement into detailing on how they involved in, 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 in mining industry and how they've been involved in the commodification of education to train people to go so that they will be good administrators of an unjust and a racist system.